Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Lavi, and I am your guest moderator for today. I apologize for being slightly late. This is not a normal week for Qbert because a lot of the Red Hat employees are at the Red Hat Technical Summit uh, in Boston this week. Uh, also, they're crazy busy working on the release uh, of Qbert 1.0. And I can't say all that much more about it other than I'm just volunteering. They asked me to help out today with uh, just kind of running through the agenda. So um, apologies for being a tiny bit late. Uh, welcome to everybody. Uh, I'm Mark Lavi. Uh, I won't talk more about me or anything else unless there are questions. But uh, let me go bring up the agenda, share my screen, and, and we'll proceed. But just wanted to introduce today and why, why things are a little different. Uh, of course, jump in with any questions or comments along the way. I won't prompt you for it. Uh, feel free to interrupt at any point in time. All right, let me uh, pull up the agenda and share my screen next. Unless somebody has that URL in front of them uh, and can put that in the chat, I would appreciate it. But I think I have it here. Thank you so much. Let's all go there. I will start sharing my screen. All right. Can everybody hear me clearly? And can everybody now see my screen that is being shared? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go. Today is the 24th. Oops. Uh, we already have somebody was so kind to get things going. So let's all add in our names. Um, I will literally just run down the agenda. Uh, everybody, is there anybody new today who is new to Qbert? If so, please. Uh, put your speak up or, or, or please reach out to us in the chat. Uh, let's see, I think we have something in the chat. Yes, oh, Howard, so you're new. Would you like to introduce yourself and explain your interest or connection to Qbert? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not new here. <laughs> no, no, you're not, Howard, okay. <laughs> you're just saying yes, you understood everything. All right, great, all right. Uh, awesome. All right, well then continuing on down the agenda. All right, so we have, uh, we can skip that because there are none. All right, scheduled check-in. Um, I don't have any comments because I'm not actually running this, but let's do a quick review of anything here. The goal is to, to basically, here we are on the 24th. In theory, uh, they got past tagging everything, but I don't know, uh, Howard, I believe you are part of the Qbert project, if I recall correctly. Do you have any insights to this? You're to me? Yeah, no, I, I may be confusing with somebody else. But um, as far as I know, everything's on track, but I don't think I've seen any official 1.0 release uh, announcements yet, certainly not today. But I, I expect it that it would happen this week, but that's just me saying it. I am not an official uh, Qbert maintainer or anything like that. That's just my expectation um, because I know that's what everybody's been preparing for and it made sense with uh, the Red Hat Summit going on. So we will see, but actually if this makes sense, then it actually looks like 1.0 is, is going, yeah, I should just read what's here. <laughs> it looks like they're really targeting um, next month for 1.0. All right, maybe they will announce that they're preparing for 1.0 at, at Qbert Summit, I mean, at uh, Red Hat Summit. All right, that makes sense. Uh, moving back onto this. So let's go start off with the agenda notes. Uh, Daniel Hiller, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Can you can you hear me? Yes, we can. Great, yep. great. Most of the time, uh, Zoom is doing playing tricks on me, like 
no, no audio and so on. But yeah, now it's working. It's fine. So thanks. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to uh, sh uh, chime in on the state of Qubit CI, which is a part of the uh, uh, V10 schedule uh, that you showed pr uh, earlier. So in general, we um, uh, we agreed on having the Qubit pre-submits uh, mandatory at some point in time. Actually, sadly, we missed that since we had a couple of things going on in the 127 that we had to fix. But uh, now uh, I can at least uh, assure you that the 127 lanes are running constantly. So the pre-submits are running constantly for all four sick uh, lanes that we have. Uh, we have a PR up for merge gating. So um, I would probably suggest um, that Everyone who's there and who's later on reading the community meeting notes uh, should uh, take a look at that and see uh, whether they agree um, that we can uh, make them make them gating. So um, I'd say yes, but I would have want to have an agreement on that. So um, other than that, the 124 lanes are now running on demand only. So you can you can still trigger them because the um, the uh, the Qubit CI provider for 124 is still there, um, but they are not running on every uh, PR um, as of default. Um, then um, uh, the new versions uh, that we are going to bump into uh, the next uh, into the um, uh, into the Qubit CI uh, will be 127.2, 126.5, Five and one twenty five twenty. So those are the latest bump, uh, the latest minor release uh, versions increases that we have uh, consumed from from Kubernetes. Um, yeah, and, and the last thing that I wanted to mention is that we are going to uh, remove the one twenty four provider soon. So yeah, in order that it's no more needed, our uh, general agreement is that we are only uh, testing against the latest three providers um as of release so we will are going to uh, remove them uh, at the latest after the um after the uh, v10 um so i think that i think that's it for me so um, if there are any questions please go ahead i see that uh federico mentioned a beta tag. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He was responding to my 1.0 uh, thing. Yep. Thank you, Frederico. No, uh, Daniel, I don't see any uh, comments or otherwise. So thank you for that update. Thank you. Uh, Andrew Burden uh, is, is at Red Hat Summit, and he's the one that uh, asked me to kind of help run things today. Uh, wanted us to mention that the call for papers for KubeCon China and North America are now open. So uh, please submit your KubeVert related topics. Um, it is a high bar to try to make it and, and be it accepted, but uh, getting even feedback uh, on, on your topics for the community is greatly appreciated. Uh, and if nothing else, I encourage everybody to take that first step for how you use Qvert or how it cloud native and virtualization uh, in in this world is coming forward as a solution for you for your organization or the journey that you've taken with it with Qvert ideally would be a, a great topic. Uh, because we, we see use cases with uh, huge companies like NVIDIA, but that doesn't mean that other companies have equally valid or even more important use cases, uh, NVIDIA might be a rarefied way of looking at Qbert. So um, let me know if there are any questions or comments there. Let's move on to the open floor. Uh, looks like we have, I believe, Howard, you want to discuss this issue. So let's pull this up. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so I rise an issue on release ARM64 image and binary. Uh, and I pin many maintainers here, but uh, I did not get many feedbacks. 
uh, but as Mark said, uh, they may be there on the yeah. Red Hat Technical Summit, so it makes sense. I, I don't, I did not know that. Yes, so, yeah, and I, uh, I uh, yeah, and I have submitted many patch on this issue, and um, and the, many of them are not get um, lots of feedback, like if, if they can merge or I can uh, I need to do some amend. Uh, so 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I will join the uh, uh, when will the when will the uh, Red Hat technical summit end? Uh, I well, believe it ends on on Thursday or Friday this week. So it's the it's the full week effectively. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, well, I will join the meeting the next week. Perfect. To get some more feedback. Yeah. Thanks yeah, Howard, I, I I remember your presentation during Cubevert uh, Summit, correct? On on this. Um, uh, I will submit a proposal on uh, Cubevert on ARM. Yeah. Uh, for the Cook uh, Kubicon in Shanghai. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Well, I remember your presentation. So that's and and it's a fabulous work, and I think everybody wants this. So so thank you for that. That's why I assumed that you may have been uh, an employee because this is a lot of work. So uh, I'm I'm very definitely looking forward to the acceptance on this. But yeah, let, let's check in with everybody again next week. Give them a little okay. bit of a chance to recover over the weekend. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Howard. All right. I fully admit that I have never done this, so I don't know that we can actually do much, but let's take a quick peek. Uh, 160 pull requests. I don't really think I can help with any of this. Uh, in fact, some of them really look like they're out of, out of date. Yeah, way out of date. So I don't know. We could even sort these by what's what's latest, but I have nothing to add here unless anybody else on the call does today. I propose we move on from here. We're moving on. <laughs> All right, mailing list review. I, again, I don't recall anything too uh, crazy recently. Uh, looks like we're not talking about anything. Here. Oh, DevOps Days also has a CFP. But yeah, that takes us basically through the last week. Um, we addressed the CFPs for KubeCon in North America and China. Uh, da, da, da. All right, I don't really have anything to add here either. Well, then finally, this is this will be again another miserable fail for me because I don't really do bug scrubbing for Cubevert. So Howard, there, there you are. So <laughs> uh, I imagine if nothing else, by this point in the meeting next week, <laughs> it will be addressed again. Uh, again, if anybody has any comments, then I think we will wrap that up. Zoom chat. No, we took care of everything here. Uh, I'll add Federico's uh, comment here for the beta tag. And is there any final things that we would like to address today? All right, then. Thank you, everybody, for participating. I don't see anything else in the chat. So I appreciate your time today. Thank hey, you for being part uh, of the community. Oh yeah, please. Uh, hi Mark. Sorry. Uh, so uh, I have uh, made a proposal for Behost user interface, and as part of uh, review comments, uh, uh, I guess Edward has mentioned that uh, Qbert is not uh, willing to go with the interface binding method. So if that is the case, I will. I, will, I was trying to get the information on what will be the steps to be having the uh, interface to be added to the Qbert if it is not with the interface binding method. So uh, I was just looking if anyone can help me with that. If it is already been implemented in Qbert or uh, if there is any story that, it, I mean, if there is any task for the same. 
Does anybody on on uh, have have comments for him? I I don't, unfortunately. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Hi. So uh, I'm from the networking team, and uh, Edward Haas is taking care of this uh, um, epic. So please uh, try to contact him on the mailing list, and I'm sure he will be glad to help you. Okay, sure, thanks. Uh, all right, thank you. All right, I think we are to the end, unless anybody else has any final questions or comments. All right. Everybody, thank you for your time today. Thank you for uh, letting me muddle through this as best as possible. I hope it wasn't too horrible. Um, and if so, please, please complain about me or give positive feedback to Andrew Burden. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. Have a good rest of your week. I'll give you back a whole bunch of time to your day and uh, we'll meet again next week. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Bye. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.